Shalom. All praises, honor, and glorification unto our power. Call Halaim La Alahayna wa Yahawa ba Shim Yahushai ba Shim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai scattered across the earth. This is your brother Ayla coming to you with another lesson. And uh, this lesson, Lord willing, will be entitled Re. The Hebrew Israelite ministry will come to an end. And uh, this lesson will be regarding famine of the word. You know, and uh, this lesson will also be a land back off of the video that the elder Manata Zagba from the GMS South Carolina camp had put up. Which uh, the video, you see the title of the video that the elder put up. Um, so yeah, Lord willing the elect of Yahweh by Shemi, I wish I'd be edified. Let me uh, grab this flash card really quick. <clears throat> so lucky. Right, so... Uh, First and foremost, I want to get the book of Isaiah, the 33rd chapter, you know, because, you know, the famine of the word is coming. And when it comes, you know, that's it, man. I mean, for the most part, right? You know, so you, you, you we got to learn what we can learn now, you know, and really push hard. Because when the famine of the word comes, you won't see the brothers out on the highways and byways and, you know, things of that sort. All right. So. Uh, first, let me get Isaiah, the 33rd chapter. In verse six, and it reads in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. See. So that's something that uh, is exceedingly significant to have in possession, you know, the wisdom and knowledge of the Lord, which, like it says, is going to be the stability of our times and strength of salvation. Right. And that's why, which I brought this out, I believe, in the latest video that I put up, but I'll bring it out again. Second Peter three. And. uh 18 and it reads, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. See? Right? So we got to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our power. So uh, let me get. We got that. Okay, let me get Matthew, the seventh chapter, verse 24. And it reads, therefore, whosoever heareth these things, uh, these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew. And beat upon the house and it fell and great was the fall of it. Let me also get Proverbs, the uh, 24th chapter, verse 3. And it says, through wisdom is in house building and by understanding it is established. You know, and we can liken our own bodies unto houses. <clears throat> let me see. Uh, let me get Luke, the 6th chapter. Verse 46, and it reads, And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will shew you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built an house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently, meaning intensely, upon the house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth and doeth not, is like a man that without a foundation built in house upon the earth against which the stream did be vehemently and immediately it fell and the ruin of the house of that house was great. 
the hell was that? Let me get uh, the book of Amos, day of chapter, verse 11. And it reads, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And that's not to say famine of bread and of water won't come. But no, this part, it's saying this particular famine spoken of is not that sort of famine. It's a famine of hearing the word of the Lord. Verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Right. And the sea to sea is speaking of the inter internet. Right. 13, and that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. And that's, of course, for thirst of hearing the word of the Lord. Which is going to be drawn back, right? At an appointed time. Which that time will be, uh, you know, of course, according to the Lord's will and liking. So, come on, just goddamn watch. Uh, Ezekiel 3 and 26. And the reason I will make that, oh, look at that. I, and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. So, you know, you niggas better get right, man. You know? Which, that's kind of like a rhetorical saying, if you will, because, you know, the Lord is only dealing with the elect, you know? So ultimately, those of the elect are going to get right. You niggas aren't going to get right. So I'll say, I would change it. You Jakes better get right, you know? Exhort me and an urge to get right. Right, so, uh, let's see. 26. So, uh, let me get second address, 6 and 24. And it reads, at that time shall friends fight uh, one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. <clears throat> no, I think, uh, let me see, second address, 5 and 8. There we go. Verse 8. There shall be conf there shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be off sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and minstrels women shall bring forth monsters, and salt water shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit, right? Wit meaning what? It says, then shall wit hide itself. Wit meaning mental sharpness or attentiveness. Keen intelligence, so it's talking about wisdom, right? So it says, uh, uh, Then shall wit hide itself, and understanding withdraw itself into a secret chamber, and shall be sought of many, and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and incontinency, meaning lack of self-control, be multiplied upon earth. Eleven, one land also shall ask another, and say, Is righteousness that maketh the man righteous going through thee? And it shall say no. So that's the point, man. You know, uh, once again, the Hebrew Israelite ministry will come to an end. And that will be in an appointed time, according to the Lord's will and liking. So with that, oh, and uh, just like the elder mentioned, there was a brother that had a dream about uh, Elder T Apostle Dahar giving his goodbyes, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. See if it'll come up, you know. This is kind of, here we go. Right. So this is the video right here of the uh, brother's dream, if I'm not, or vision, right? Yep, King, oh, that that's the channel, Kingdom Minded 144, I think. Kingdom Minded 144. No, no, is it this? No. 
Okay, well, I'll just, so what I'll do, I'll share the link to the uh, the Brothers Vision, and it'll be in the description box so you can watch it, which I've got to watch it myself. But, um, yeah, so the video is entitled Vision, Elder Apostle Tahar Saying His Goodbyes, Kingdom Minded 144. Oh, I don't know why it didn't, I don't know why it didn't come up, right? But uh, so I'll, I'll do this. Let me see. Share. Copy link. So the link to this video will be in the description. But that's pretty much the point. With that, Lord willing, you were edified. Once again and forever, all praises, honor, and glorification unto our power. Call Halim La Alahayana wa Yahweh ba Shimi wa Shai ba Shim Dash. Once again, double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Baba Kasha Ababa Ba? Why Shalom DTA soon and stay sharp. Keep pushing you since you're Akim Wa Akwath. And, uh, you know, keep watching.